do you hear the kids playing football over the road? <laughs> nope. No. Oh, good. <laughs> Don't hear any birds either. So. No, I've shot oh, them. A, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bloody annoying. I turned the record. I turned the recording off. <laughs> 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 British bird sounds volume five has been running in the background. He got to the end of the tape and when he flipped it, it was like uh, kids playing in a fairground. <laughs> so, so I have to listen to that no. side because the rewind button doesn't work. <laughs> we, we need another pandemic so the government can change all the batteries in the birds again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was my favorite conspiracy theory over the pandemic. <laughs> Oh, I missed that one, but it sounds like a good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. bloody marvelous. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, here I am blaming conspiracy theorists for having a lack of imagination. But that's, <laughs> that's good, that's isn't awesome. it? <laughs> How do you say goodbye in your languages? God, 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 Salg or whatever. I see. I see. This, God this, this is going to be a very Muppet show. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this uh, Hade bra. What? Which is have it good when you translate uh, it. So okay. yeah. Or just say... Hade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first half of it. Yeah. <laughs> just have it. Yeah. Harder. <laughs> and in Swedish, you just say. <laughs> Harder, harder. Huh? You nailed it, yeah. It's a wish for you, hey do. Or, yeah, hey, hey. do. Yeah. Ha det bra. We could say that as well, yeah. Uh, I think you were after uh, good evening. Also, it would okay. be a good kväll. Okay. Good night. Good night. Right. That's the god is Good. Yeah, God. <laughs> yeah. It's not God. We, no, we don't I've, care I've, about God in this yeah. country. <laughs> I see. It, I see it quite a lot. I figured it was good. <laughs> yeah, not God. <laughs> God has nothing to get to find <laughs> here in the cold north, or he does. Oh, I still can't remember what that word you said was because, but it had something to do with fellatio. So I mean, <laughs> not not when you talk about it, but uh, in my ears, it sounded like it. So yeah. How did I miss that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now I have it. It was you said you earned us the 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 Welsh oh, Thomas pencils yes. because you had. To flip him the bird, and I was yeah. like going like, I mean, I don't need a pen that bad that you had to go to the length of fellatio to get them because I mean, isn't that what flipping the bird is? It's like uh, a word for masturbating, but no, <laughs> no. 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 I know, no. <laughs> I know, I know, but I was gonna play dumb, but uh, of course I didn't. I was too slow <laughs> catching on. So. <laughs> I mean, they're good pencils, so, you know, whatever's necessary, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a really good pencil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, people have done worse to Tom Jones before, I guess, to get, uh, <laughs> get ahead of the game, so to say. <laughs> Uh, different Tom, different times. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to both of those. I think um, I don't know Welsh Tom is that good, so who knows? <laughs> Maybe he has the uh, similar amount of groupies. All right, come on, guys. We need to change the subject quick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were in half point territory now. <laughs> we are, but even so. <laughs> Well, I uh, the only thing left on my list, uh, I bought a plank of oak today because I'm going to build a table. Because nice. I just finished one, so I need one, a new one. <laughs> You're having a table phase. Yeah. Oh, it's, a, it's a small coffee table for the couch. 
And, uh, ah, yeah, the one that your wife asked you, to, asked you to make. Yeah, and now I saw one that also had where the table legs are formed in such a way that you could also like put it into the sofa and then it the tabletop overhangs yeah. uh, the sofa oh, as yeah, well. So yeah. I'm, I'm thinking I have a, a welder now, so I, I can make that happen as well. So I'm playing along with the table leg design, but um, maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow I'll draw the tabletop and just chuck it into the CNC and let that work for a couple of hours. Where is this on the list of your makes? I mean, it's on after the Hellcore is on the top, uh, and it's going to go fairly quickly to do, I think. And then I have two other projects coming up where the first one is, of course, the the petrol-powered washing machine. I have been doing a bit of Googling, and I haven't <laughs> seen anyone doing quite the thing that I want to do, so that's, that's good. Um, <laughs> that is a few weeks of work. But then again, I can be crude and efficient on that one because it, it doesn't need to have any aesthetic uh, elements whatsoever, and it's going to be... I'm guessing it's going to break itself in the final run, which is also the plan. So um, there is no end game of uh, putting it on the wall of fame. And then, of course, I have the the weed whacker motor that I'm going to attach to um, a KitchenAid or something like that. But I'm still looking for someone to give or sell one of those extremely cheap. So... Yeah, I had one online, but no, there was someone who was quicker than me, so I lost that one. So nice. I think I'm on a, a a bit of a storage phase now. So after the drill, the pillar drill storage, I'm moving on to making a cabinet for the table saw. I think at, mm. at, the, at the moment it's just on a, a frame which enables you to fold the table saw up, but I never never ever fold it up. Um, no. <laughs> so I'm, I'd like to put a cabinet there so I've got a place to put all the push sticks and the jigs that I make I think that'd be quite nice nice yeah, yeah. that's it's on my list but a, a bit down I, I made when I made my work table on casters uh, with the table saw in there is two rooms that I s- just use for storage i just chuck things in and in one of those compartments i thought of having a like a cyclone dust collector and i also yeah. bought the two cheap ass cyclones for that but i thought i will never use that because i have the the dust extraction system that works really well so i'm thinking about i should put some more shelves in there or drawers so uh, yeah that's something that needs to be done but i don't think that's it's not furniture grade work that so uh, i don't see the video value in it so i might just chuck that out in an afternoon without thinking about (laughs) moving the camera and finding (laughs) the angles and so on yeah some of the workshop storage videos do pretty well though for bart so yeah they do but I don't want to make them. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> absolutely fair enough, yeah. Yep. No, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, my next thing will probably be to make a new welding table setup. I think. Oh, that's a but good I... one. Yeah. Something that fits me a little better than the than the monstrosity I made before I no- knew what I needed. <laughs> Are you going to make a proper thick welding table, do you think? No. No, no something uh, small and modular and yeah, right. something too easy to move and not take up too much space. Because, I mean, I don't need a... I generally don't need a welding table unless I'm welding something really small. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm welding stuff onto bigger stuff, and that's... That's yeah. not to put on a table. I'm, I don't have a fabric. <laughs> I don't have room for or want a fabrication table that's like the size of a full sheet of plywood or something like that. It would be yeah. nice, but yeah, that's not not going to happen. So we're going to go <laughs> go smaller instead. Yeah. 
I really love the look of my workbench in my workshop. I think it's great. And I made it out of loads and bits of scrap wood after I built the workshop. Everything that was left over, I just cut to the same size strips and made my workbench. And I love the look of it. But um, a lot of the wood dried out at different rates, so it's not the most even of surfaces. Ah, yeah. Which is why I often film on top of a black piece of MDF or something like that, because it's a nice flat surface to work on. <laughs> you don't have an electric surface planer, you can give it a good go. Uh, no, I borrowed it to a neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Never seen that again. <laughs> you yeah, know. No. Uh, I got, yeah, no, I got I a question here the other day because we had like a, a family birthday event and someone asked me do you have this uh, oscillating multi-tool and yeah i have <laughs> and then i realized that of course i can lend tools to people but i don't have too much batteries so of course i know i don't need that tool but uh, if i need to borrow it out then it should have uh, one or two batteries with it and a charger and that that halves my batteries and uh, <laughs> that, that is going to be the hampering part of uh, actually lending someone tools so i should steve, have more batteries yeah steve borrowed my um, oscillating multi-tool and came back two days later with a brand new <laughs> oscillating tool because he broke the other one <laughs> but at least he was at least he was good enough to replace it <laughs> yeah nice I think I have nine batteries and three chargers. Yeah. Wow. I don't go much in for the battery stuff. I like a battery drill, but other than that, I don't really mind the corded stuff. But I made my workshop to accommodate corded stuff. Yeah. But I, I use them for garden work as well, both, both uh, the okay. lawnmower and uh, the strimmer and the uh, hedge uh, cutter, what's it called? Uh, all use yeah. the same Makita batteries. So. Oh, cool. On the, on the days you want to, a lot of things done, you need all those sets of batteries because they run out pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, five litres of petrol in my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's quiet and it doesn't stink up. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but that... no. The and problem it's is, not I think, as heavy. I think the problem is I don't, I don't think I could probably get used to the power of the electric stuff. The, the you know, mine's proper proper garden machinery it's got some big balls on it it cuts and chops and does it all very quickly yeah it's it's strong enough when the when it's got the good batteries yeah, yeah that's um well you you can probably get the more expensive battery ones they are probably good but yeah you you can't really beat well you need a lot of batteries and uh, a good charger um, but yeah no, so, some equipment is better on petrol. Like uh, my mother gave me, she had a, like a Ryobi, uh, like these uh, small uh, trimmers with the rotating uh, senu plastic string, whatever. Uh, Strimmer. Yeah, uh, and two uh, batteries. It it doesn't cut anything, and it <laughs> empties those batteries so fast. So I just stopped using it i have a petrol one and uh, of course it makes a bit more noise so i can't do it at 10 o'clock in the evening um, but other than that it's you can run it for hours and then you just top it off with fuel and keep continuing so yeah I, I got the big makita one that takes two batteries and that's that's way stronger than the little tiny petrol one we yeah. had before uh but then again i i'm i'm used to the oh, what's that called uh, the the saw the 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 saw on a stick that you use in the in in the when in the woods pruning uh, saw yeah pruning tree, saw tree tree pruning saw yeah a, a really the big a bit really big one my yeah, yeah, my dad yeah. had that I mean put a streamer head on that and you can go through anything yeah uh, <laughs> so it's I mean it's not quite there but it's close to it the big one so yeah. <laughs> But that being, so that being said, I have one of those uh, small trimmers with batteries that I it's totally useless, but it's brand new. So now the question is, what can I repurpose it to? So that's uh, <laughs> yeah. if anyone has an open suggestion, uh, just hit me up. 
because uh, I've been looking at it and this needs to be something else by the end of this summer. I just can't figure out what yet. You can make make art with it, put some paint on the end or something like that, some paint squirters and spin that around. <laughs> yeah, we, we do need to paint our house, so yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Channel your inner uh, Alice Bagnola and <laughs> yeah. see what you can make. Oh, yeah, you, know you could some do. outrageous art. <laughs> Turn it into a glitter dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> I let my daughters pick the colors for a house and, and just glitter film, bomb yourself. <laughs> no, film the daughters walking down your street, glittering the whole road. <laughs> I mean, if you go to AliExpress, I mean, you could probably buy glitter by the cubic meters yeah. for a, a dollar or something. So, yeah. <laughs> Microplastics for the world. Yes. <laughs> Don't you get biodegradable uh, glitter? I mean, uh, for the for the environmentally conscious strippers out there. <laughs> so I sent you both some videos today of uh, I was screwing around a bit at work and uh, setting up my own island colony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you both could have come and visit, but I thought the uh, the choices of what you need first for survival on the island was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> was it food? Was it water? Was it shelter? Or was it a workshop? <laughs> workshop, booze, and then <laughs> workshop and whatever distillery. tickles your fancy. <laughs> I mean, you can always sleep in the workshop as well, so that's yeah, this that's shelter. <laughs> You ever spent a night in your workshop? No, nope, no, I haven't. Had not been to. <laughs> I think. You what did you do to once. deserve that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just one of those restless nights where I couldn't get to sleep, and there was just certain noises going on in the house. <laughs> that sort of noise, and um, yeah, no, I went. I went and spent the night in the workshop, but I've got I've got fishing beds in there, and so I was quite comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, that's um. Maybe that's a goal, like uh, a workshop sleepover by yourself, of course. But uh... <laughs> can I probably make make friends around for a sleepover? In yeah, the yeah, yeah. You, you just set up your camera and you do a live thing on uh, on on WhatsApp, and everybody just uh, PJs in a workshop, and, and uh, yeah. you just tinker along with your own thing and just chatting. It's like a uh, bad a audio live party. <laughs> I was just about to say that's another podcast. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Workshop sleepover. Come into your ear all soon. <laughs> yeah, that's need, that needs to be a video podcast as well. Yeah. Let's hope that no one sleeps in the nude. <laughs> Turns out to be a completely different sleepover. <laughs> completely different video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might have an audience. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, mo- most likely. Uh, it's maybe on a different platform. <laughs> yeah. True that. I don't think there'll be people wanting to watch it. It'd be one of those morbid fascinations. <laughs> I don't want to look, but I can't take my eyes away. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's like, it's like a slow moving train crash. <laughs> <laughs> all the body parts. <laughs> With all that machinery, it's so wrong. <laughs> Right, let's yeah, see. moving on. Um, this is a hundred thousand pieces of three millimeter wholesale rose resin rhinestone glitter bulk. Seventeen pounds. How many? <laughs> How much? Well, it says hundred thousand pieces, so it's probably oh, the small wow. beads inside. But it's it's a hefty bag. Uh, nice. But yeah, I mean, if you want like a thousand kilos, it's gets expensive who knew that glitter was actually expensive if you <laughs> it doesn't weigh that much so yeah but a little no, bit it's a bit like cocaine such a long I guess. Way, doesn't it yeah <laughs> i do not want a kilo of glitter 
that. Yeah, you do. That's not a <laughs> gift, it's a curse. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the kids have brought that home from the kindergarten already. It's that and sand <laughs> in their shoes. So I'm, I'm going to do that on the last day of kindergarten. I'm going to bring a 25 kilos bag of like sand. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> throw a cup of we didn't glitter. mean to take it. <laughs> you go. I'll throw a cup of glitter at the staff, and there you go. I owe you that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yours. <laughs> Thank you for all the glitter-infused drawings of whatever. <laughs> you just have a bucket of glitter and throw it in and close the door. <laughs> Ooh, a glitter! Uh, oh, I actually. Um, I bought uh, a leaf blower for the Gatling gun two years ago, and I I don't use it for leaf blowing, but yesterday I cut some of the logs that were too big for me to carry them uh, from where I dumped them from the trailer uh, in our yard. And of course, we have gravel, and all that sawdust is within the gravel, so I just, ooh, maybe I should use my leaf blower, and it worked like a charm. Yeah, But then... It was really fun just using the leaf blower. You felt like a <laughs> Ghostbuster. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Could I get some flame or glitter? I mean, a glitter cannon. I could very <laughs> easily make a dispenser for that. And I mean, it's maybe I'm um, maybe for next year because I think the Pride Parade here is in two weeks. And I, I don't think I can get all that glitter from China in time. <laughs> <laughs> He used to work with a Sri Lankan fella, and when I first met him, his English wasn't great. And he used to call the leaf blower the magic machine because it used to just make everything disappear. <laughs> oh, that's oh, uh, it's, yeah. it's a good name. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the magic machine from now on. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, the, the leaf blower and the power washer have been the easiest tools the gardening tools to get the kids to use and actually get some kind of result as well. But here you just point it at the ground yeah. and make sure that leaves goes that direction. <laughs> 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 All over the place. But I mean, it gets cleaner at least. So, yeah. yeah. Good. Talking about funny names for things. I also had a nephew who, when he was very young, referred to ear defenders as ear goggles. <laughs> so they've always been, they've been ear goggles in our family for quite a few years now. <laughs> That's also a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm out now. You've had them all. You got all my good material. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night. <laughs> so do we get a it was a long time ago so we have a, a Latin plant name, I think. Oh really? <laughs> Do people really want a Latin plant name, KJ? I know one You'd person who wants. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. This is for Sophie <laughs> and anybody else who wants it. Fatsia japonica. Fatsia japonica? Yep. I have no clue what that could be. <laughs> That's what you said to the last one I gave you as well. <laughs> yeah. That goes for anything Latin. So. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to be the, the, my answer for all of it, yeah? Yeah. So, have you got that? Fatsia japonica, just for Sophie. <laughs> it's a lovely architectural plant. I've got two of them in my garden. And what's the common name for that? It might be castor oil plant. Might be. <laughs> might be? <laughs> what's a common name? I don't deal in common cases. Ah, of course you don't. <laughs> You're a fancy gardener. I'm better than that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just rowing out to islands and using the streamer. That's, that's proper gardening. Do, do you feel? Do you feel? Uh, uh, what's the what? Underappreciated with all your knowledge and uh... Uh, sometimes, but actually, when 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 they say to you, "Would you mind streaming the islands?" It's like, yeah, I can get in the boat. I can play on the lake. It's great fun. <laughs> you're letting Kid Glenn take the steering wheel yeah. for a while and just play around exactly <laughs> well that's not too bad the yeah, first but... couple of times I was asked I managed to put it off because I was scared of getting in the boat because I just expected it to tip over because that was pretty much my first ever experience of getting in a little boat oh, yeah. but this one's a sturdy vessel yeah, it didn't <laughs> so look... it's, it's good fun yeah, I'm not going to say it but yeah it, oh, it, it, it didn't look 
like the sturdiest of vessels. And I mean, you probably had to bring tools and everything. So it, I imagine it was a bit cramped on the way over. But it's about three meters long, actually. Aluminium boat. It's yeah. pretty sturdy. Yeah, flat bottom, so it's stable. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. good. <laughs> I mean, I've not got my ocean faring experience of the Norwegians. So. <laughs> I mean, that's you're basically passing a puddle. In... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could probably just walk over. I don't know how deep it is, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, taller than me, not quite as tall as KJ, and you drowned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the technical depth. <laughs> but it, it, I mean, given the weather and everything, it looks re- really idyllic, and uh, I think uh, that job I could do as well, I think, just uh, mowing down that uh, grass. I think yeah. it's, it's just to keep it down, I'm guessing. You're not going to have... A, it's not the green where that's a part of the course, I guess. So. No, no, no. It's just, it is just knocking it down really quickly. The most hazardous part about working there at the moment is the uh, geese with the babies. They're quite violent at the moment. Oh, ah, yeah. There's only one, one family on there, but uh, I take a wide berth every time I come across them. I hate geese. I mean, they are... Yeah. Where we are living, it's in the middle of uh, the, their flight path to whatever they need to do in life. And when they land, <laughs> they shit. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's gross. And of course, they are uh, the hunting season is, of course, not in the middle of the summer. So when you're actually wanting to go barefoot in the grass, you, you can't really do anything about it. No. <laughs> is that the Canadian geese? Or it, I never asked. Uh, they, they, <laughs> I don't understand them as well. So yeah, because it, those it, are a hassle. It was the Canadian geese where I was, KJ. Yeah, <laughs> because it, proper geese is seldom a problem, but the Canadian ones are. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I I feel it's the same as people wearing Canadian geese uh, jackets in the city, where it's barely zero degrees. <laughs> it's, they're about. Uh, the same amount of annoying. <laughs> it's strange that the um, Canadian geese have got a violent streak, but uh, you know, I know a few Canadian people, and they're lovely. Yeah, yeah. And the geese got all the violence, I think. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm guessing that's not where they got the names then. Uh, so it's. Uh... Then again, are they all from Canada? What the Canadians? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> named after the geese, surely. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it came from the great country of that uh, shitty bird. <laughs> oh, it's a Canadian. A Canadian, huh? <laughs> I did there before he offends the Canadians, KJ. <laughs> uh, I still have that, uh, oh, that South Park song from the movie with their beady little eyes, <laughs> that yeah. rant about Canadians. <laughs> And soul full of lies. Yes, that's. Uh, I truly loved uh, South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut, as yeah. it was called. And it took me all too many years to to get that reference of bigger, longer, and uncut. What they actually meant by that? It, it was not just that. Is, yeah, yeah. But but it was a lot of dick reference that I didn't get as a kid. <laughs> I realized uh, at a later later uh, stage in life. Yeah. Do you get plenty of dick now? Any references? <laughs> <laughs> I would say the right amount. <laughs> you should leave it at that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will reach the bottom of the, this barrel as well. <laughs> I think, should I, think, we keep I, think on I think we're scraping there down there somewhere. Yeah, we're yeah. At the bottom of the half pint, half pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> scraping the bottom of the half pint glass. Yeah, that's. <laughs> there might be another glass below it. <laughs> Who knows? There Just have to go through the bottom. Yeah. The glass below the half pint. That sounds like a podcast as well, where they talk about the deeper meaning of life and the universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's all glasses all the way. 
Yeah, someone is talking about shattering the glass ceilings, and we are like, is there a glass under the bottom of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, everything has a flip side, so yeah. That's... yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we're obviously getting tired, so we pr- should probably end, end it here. Yeah, sounds like a good point. Thanks for listening, and have a good whatever you're having. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>